Hey, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Uh, pretty excited. S the Super Bowl is tomorrow. Well, it was when I filmed this. Super Bowl 58. Live from Las Vegas. Kansas City Chiefs versus the San Francisco 49ers. I'm pr actually looking forward to it. Uh, I'm actually an NFL fan. I'm actually a Gridiron fan. I watch it all year round, not just the Super Bowl. It kind of pisses me off when people just w watch the Super Bowl. Like... I, I watch it all year round. I know that Kansas City isn't from Kansas. It's from Missouri. Most people just hear Kansas and think, oh, they're from the state of Kansas. I think, didn't Donald Trump make that mistake? But yeah, uh, I got the day off. I've got Budweiser in the fridge because Bud Light's really hard to find in Australia. Hopefully Shane Gillis does a Bud, uh, Bud Light commercial. I've got Pepsi in the fridge. I normally drink Coke, but I've got Pepsi because of the Pepsi halftime show with Usher. And I've got chicken wings ordered. So the halftime show, I'm not really looking forward to it. Usher, it might be good, you know. Like Sometimes I think an artist is going to be crap and they're all right. Then other times I have my high high, high expectations of the artist and they uh, don't deliver. But uh, I wonder if Usher's under that confession song where he just starts talking in the middle of it. It's like, I, I, I can't remember how it goes. I'm not an Usher fan, but just like, but he just, remember he starts talking. And he's probably going to do that Yeah song, which was big when I was in high school, the violin. And we're, so Little John and Ludacris will probably make your appearance. They're probably hoping to because they're not really that relevant in music anymore. I mean, Ludacris is in the uh, Fast and the Furious franchises and Little John's probably just living off his money from his appearances. He probably made a lot of money from what turned down to what. The DJ Snake song. <laughs> Does Lil John actually have any of his own songs? I don't know a Lil John song. Every Lil John song I know is a featured artist, and he just says the same thing. But uh, I remember in the video clip for Yeah had that weird guy in a suit dancing. I wonder if he's gonna make an appearance. He popped up in a few videos. He was in that one. He was in the Way You Move by Outkast, the the big boy song. Um, Andre 3000 didn't feature in that one, I don't think. Or maybe he did. I don't know. But it was on Speaker Box, the Love Below album. Uh, I think the the guy in the suit you dance weird was like P. Diddy's assistant or something. So if you're going to go off what Cat Williams is talking about, he probably got F'd in the A. So yeah. But uh, back to the game itself. Uh, predictions on who wins. My heart says 49ers, but my head says Kansas City because... Patrick Mahomes uh, is a big-time player. Travis Kelsey, a.k.a. Mr. Swift. If they get married, uh, he probably have to change his name. I don't think she's taking his name. Uh, yeah, and there's some weird stat about Kansas City winning uh, a large amount of games in a crescent moon or whatever the moon is now. I don't believe it. But, uh, yeah, Patrick Mahomes, awesome player. Uh, I like how Kansas City drafted him. Then sat in behind Alex Smith, who, in my opinion, is a Hall of Fame quarterback. I don't know if he gets there. He, injury stuffed his career. And uh, to train, train him up, teach him, rather than just throw him into the deep end like most clubs would have. But, yeah, he's 28. I think this is his fourth Super Bowl. Won two. Lost one against Tom Brady. But the way things are going, he might even become the greatest quarterback of all time at the moment Tom Brady is but Patrick Mahomes stats this far in his career is better than Tom Brady's but a lot of can happen you know injuries his form could just go off a cliff he could leave Kansas City and go to another team and just not gel with the, anyone there so yeah um 49ers have a few good players uh, I, I'm a big fan of their quarterback Brock uh, Purdy. Uh, Miss Irrelevant, last player selected in the draft. He's selected in the seventh round. Tom Brady was selected in the sixth round, which is a massive achievement. Uh, Brock Purdy, last player selected. Miss Irrelevant. Wasn't even meant to start a NFL game, let alone a Super Bowl. He was meant to be one of these players who gets signed to a team, then delisted right before the season starts and gets put on the injury list and only goes into the team when all the other quarterbacks are injured. I'd like to see him win. If he wins, he's got to be the greatest Mr. Irrelevant of all time, right? But yeah, we'll see. Uh, I don't like how Kansas City 
Like, San Francisco was the better team all year. I mean, Kansas City should have lost against Buffalo. The only reason they didn't was because the kicker missed a really easy goal from front, of uh, field goal from the front. Like, they, they should have won. They should have won. And then he got all death threats. But the kicker, I can't remember his name, has a cat charity. So I kind of like him because I'm a fan of cats. And people started feeling sorry for him, so they donated all this money to his cat charity. He's probably going to get delisted, I reckon. I reckon the coaches won't forget. Won't forget that and they would just get rid of him, unfortunately. Uh, it's always sad for a fellow Cat fan. But, uh, yeah, but, like, San Francisco, we're the better team. But Kansas City gets the change rooms, the home team change room, gets to hang out in the stadium. They're, like, not letting the 49ers into the stadium to get the feel of it. Like, fuck you, Kansas City. Like, what well, gives you the right to do that, you know? What, because it's like Taylor Swift? There's all these, like, conspiracy theories that the NFL is going to rig it. So, uh, Taylor Swift, who's apparently brainwashed by the Democrats, will go on the field and endorse Joe Biden for president. Firstly, I don't know if, will she be on the field? She's only in the box. She's pretty far away. And even if she's on the field, which has a microphone. And what do they mean by brainwashed? Like, do the Democrats, like, grab her, put her in a room and, like, hypnotize her or brainwash her? Like, when the NFL already does, I always thought the NFL would be, like, a little bit more Republican. Like, most of the owners are probably Republicans. And there was rumors when Taylor Swift first started that she was a Republican. Now, like, I guess there's no doubt she's a Democrat. But, uh, you think, like, if the, the woke or the left, as you would say, they would, like, make San Francisco win because that's, like, the, one of the wokest cities in America, you know? Yeah. But anyway. But, like, I think it'd be a more interesting story if, like, the conspiracy was Taylor Swift was brainwashed to kill Joe Biden, you know? Like, they got a gun underneath a seat in a box, and as soon as she hears... Kansas City just won Super Bowl 58. It, like, programs her in to take the gun and shoot Joe Biden. I don't even know Joe Biden is going to be at the Super Bowl. Whether he is or not, he won't know he's at the Super Bowl. <laughs> he's probably in the corner shaking hands with John Elway, who's not even there. Oh, oh, oh Joe, Joe Montana, you know, because he's a 49er player. I think. Former. Uh, but, yeah. But realistically, if you want to kill Joe Biden, one, you just wait for time to do it because he's pretty old and pretty unhealthy. Two, just get someone to wear a mask and jump out and surprise him. He'd probably have a heart attack. Or if you want to get creative, and this is something the Russians would do, put poison like anthrax or something in a young girl's hair, and when he sniffs it, he would inhale the poison, you know? just That's, that's a conspiracy theory we need for this Super Bowl. I mean... In the perfect world, we just uh, pay attention to the sport and the very skilled athletes and coaches. But no, we always have to throw this banner in it. Like, I'm a Taylor Swift fan. I've been to three of her tours, you know. Red, 80, 1989, the Reputation Tour. I tried to get tickets for this latest one. Missed out. Like, 99% of people you try to get tickets. I don't know if that's, that's real. It feels like 99% of people you try to get tickets missed out. Uh I've entered many competitions, so hopefully I win one. But yeah. And uh annoys me. I wish like they just threw the copyright laws in the bin. Because I want to watch the Super Bowl ads. We don't get that. We get the same crappy Australian ads as we always do. And the ads are always repetitive here. They always play like the same five ads over and over again. I was thinking of getting a VPN. I don't know if that would have worked. If I got a VPN, could I watch the live American feed? Maybe. I don't know. I wasn't organized. Uh, maybe one day I'd be a... Uh, I just built my drink. Uh, I'd be like a big uh, YouTuber. And I could have uh, ExpressVPN uh, sponsor my video. And I could get it for free. Uh, that's only a pipe dream. I'm not expecting to be a big YouTuber. Don't, don't type in the comments. Yeah, you better start making good videos. Yeah, okay. True, but no, I'm not. <laughs> but yeah, I want crazy conspiracy theories. None of this, oh, we want her to endorse Joe Biden. Um, Joe Biden. I want the rumors to be like, she's going to kill Joe Biden or Joe Biden's going to be the punter for Kansas City. And uh, 
that's going to be getting people on board. It'd be like, oh, let's vote for Joe Biden because he's a Super Bowl winning punter, you know? I'm just trying to think of a position where he won't get hurt much. I guess he could be the the, the place kicker, uh, the person who holds the ball for the uh, field goal kicker, you know? But they, no, I don't know. But anyway, that's, that's, that's all I think. Looking forward to the game tomorrow. Uh... The team I normally go for is Green Bay because my dad had heaps of Green Bay stuff because our neighbor used to work in Milwaukee. And uh, he used to... Um, I know Green Bay's not in Milwaukee, but it's they're, they're kind of close. And he used to come back with like merchandise for Milwaukee, Bucks, and Green Bay. So I kind of go for the Bucks in the NBA as well. So And I'm pretty happy with where they went. Jordan Love seems to be... Pretty good. I mean, I I don't want him to be like uh, Mac Jones, where you have one good season and you 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 shit. Although I got a feeling Jordan would probably be better. They because they, they put him behind Aaron Rodgers for a few seasons, and so he learnt. And then Aaron Rodgers started accusing people of being pedophiles and <laughs> refusing to get the vaccine. But anyway, would have been good to see Detroit make it as well. Uh, they've been a loser team for so long. I don't mind Detroit. Oh, I, I like their jersey and uh, cat fan. You know the cats. I mean, there's a few cat teams in the NFL, but yeah. Uh, but anyway, thanks for thanks for watching. Uh, go 49ers. Uh, Kieran Dorton out.